Most of our fishing tips segments can help you catch fish. This week, fishing tips tell you how to let them go. Ray Gildow of the Nisswa Guides League and Mandy Urich, the bassing biologist, demonstrate how to properly release fish. Today, Mandy and I are going to show you a proper technique for catching and releasing a fish. Uh, and it's really important that we take care of these animals that are really sensitive. You can imagine yourself being taken out anywhere and asked to hold your breath for a minute or two minutes. That's kind of what we're doing when we catch fish. And it's important not to handle them any more than it's necessary. They do have a protective coating on their skin. Uh, walleyes do, northerns do, bass do. It's just a different kind of material on each of them. So as we looked at what Mandy's got, she's just ca caught a bass, a largemouth bass, and she's gonna show us the proper way of taking it out of the boat. And if you can release them besides the boat, and you're not gonna take pictures of them, just let them go in the water if you possibly, possibly can do that. Mandy, go ahead and tell us what you're gonna do. Well, we got a little large mouth on here and just getting them into the boat right now. So we're gonna go ahead and, and lift them out of the water. He's small enough, we don't need a net, which is good because that'll help protect some of that good slime that's on him. We're gonna simply get him, lift him out. As soon as we get a hold of him here, <clears throat> we're gonna grasp the lower jaw, just simply slide that hook right on out of him and he's good to go. Never throw the fish back into the water or toss them over to the side. Um, just like people too, they get tuckered out from the fight and uh, they're out of breath, so simply put them back down into the water, uh, belly side down, head down, and let them kick right out of your hand and they're good to go. That fish will be good and you can get, catch it another day. So Mandy showed you the technique that we would use with bass. Now it would be a different technique if you're catching a northern pike. They do have a slimier protective coating and it's a lot more difficult, usually much more difficult to release them without bringing them in a net or sometimes just putting them in the boat because they'll have their hook swallowed a little bit deeper. If the hook is swallowed deep, if it's a single hook, we just suggest cutting it off and then releasing the fish as soon as you can. If you can get that pike in the net right by the boat and do all of your operation in the water is the best for the pike. But if you don't have that option, you may have to bring it into the boat. And it's important not to let that fish flop all over the place because that will harm the fish in the long run. So handling fish when you catch them and how you release them is very, very important. Adding one more thing to that list of Ray's instructions for proper handling of fish, please don't grab those fish by the eyes or the gill plates. They're extremely sensitive. I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. And I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.